Alright, so I think we found what we're looking for. We were just looking for any cheap old fryer. We found one for 40 bucks. Got him. Oh no. Oh, he came <laughs> off. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's day two on the boat with Captain Marty out here at Lake Texoma. We're doing some striper fishing today and we've already hooked up with probably 10 fish or so. Devin's caught a few, Tony's caught a few. We're out here with Devin's dad as well, Nina. We got the whole gang and Tony just missed another. <laughs> so we're just kind of finding these things, man. They're hitting the top, they're hitting swim baits, they're hitting the, uh, I even threw the whopper plopper, got a few hits, but now I'm gonna actually break out the GoPro that we found a few of these puppies. We got on the water at 6.30, it's about 7.30 now. We've been on the hunt and I'm gonna switch you guys over Devin's on it again. Oh no, Nina. Nina's got one. Let me showcase this before we get the GoPro out. Nice. Little baby one before it blows up. <laughs> What's he got? This is about the size of the majority of them, 12, 13 inches or so. So all, uh, what, do, what do they have to be to keep them, Marty? There's not really a minimum, so we're just gonna keep and eat all these babies. All right, Devin's still in the plopper. I'm going for the fluke. Oh, she's got a good one. Uh. <laughs> Hold him up. I, I think it's a. I think it's a striper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo! It's a big one. First big, big one of the day. My dad's gonna be proud. <laughs> oh my god! Look at this size. Good oh job. God. Good job. Yeah. Oh, ghost speaking of. <laughs> there we go. Got Oh. Oh no. That one felt like a good one. Come here. Yeah. You ain't getting off, buddy. Nice. The dudes are on. He's on. There we go. Decent size, little buddy. Let me. You got? You got one? Devin's got a good one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is that on the plopper? Yeah. Oh no way. <laughs> did he like really jump at it or did he just uh, it was pretty far out? No. So he kinda Will you check that out? Uh the, my first decent size one of the day on the whopper plopper. That was a really cool catch and he was fighting taking drag out. So awesome. Let's get back in there because we got a lot more to get. Oh, he whipped at it, but okay. Oh, I don't know what happened to him, but he is, he is all caught up. Yeah, it was just wrapped all over the place. There he goes. Yeah. Thank you. Got a bunch of boats out here. The bite's pretty hot. Everyone's just following this one pack. It's so funny. This might be a first cast type of deal. He's on. He's on. First cast after the move, guys. Sometimes you just gotta figure out where these fish are. Oh man, break out the mystery tackle box. See what else we brought. This thing might do some damage. All right, they are bursting. Here we go. Yeah. Let's just rip the baby bull shad on through here. Oh, first cast. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Two in a row. Baby bull shad is on, boys. Let's get them. Awesome. Thank you. There we go. Oh, he got him. That, there we go. That's three on the baby bull shad now. Woo! 9.30 in the morning, we just hit our limit. That's three hours of fishing, maybe. Just chasing after these guys. Already got 50 striper in the cooler, you guys. And look at what did it. Oh my gosh, the baby bull shad. This thing was hammering them. I think we got three almost back to back on this thing. It's just such a lifelike swim bait that we actually got in last month's mystery tackle box. And uh, if you guys want to check this thing out, I'll link it down below. It's made by Catchco. It'll be just at the top of the description. Rocking and rolling over here. 
<laughs> the bites died just a little bit, so we just want to do a quick update for you guys. But in case you're throwing these, maybe you fish ponds a whole lot. There's a ton of different colors. They've got the bluegill patterns. Go ahead and scope out the baby bull shad. And if you aren't signed up for Mystery Tackle Box, that's how we got ours. Uh, you can actually get this for as low as $4.99 with the code in the description. And you can get snagged with your treble hooks while you're doing your YouTube videos. Here we are guys, pulling back into the marina. We hit limit after about three hours. We are just pulling up to the dock. Captain Marty's gonna go ahead and clean these fish for us. If you have not scoped them out, check them out in the top of the description. Every time we've come out so far, it's been a blast. Caught a ton of fish. All right, guys, we just wrapped it up. Captain Marty made us three hefty-sized bags. This is just one of them, all the fillets. We're actually gonna take this and do a catch and cook for you guys. It's gonna be our first one on the channel, so we're gonna run over to Walmart. We found they got like a $25 fryer. We may end up seeing what options they have, spending a little bit more, but we're gonna bring you all along for the ride. Grab us some oil to cook these things up in and uh, do a little catch and cook for y'all. But we're going to get that fryer. We got pulled over for no front plate on the Tundra, uh, and I think there's been about six other cars pass by us as we're getting this ticket that don't have front plates either, so. All right guys, we made it, let's hop in here and grab this fryer. We got the ticket, no one's got front plates around here. We've been looking at everybody's, but no complaints. Let's get in here. All right, so I think we found what we're looking for. We were just looking for any cheap old fryer. We found one for 40 bucks. There's cheaper, but they don't seem to have any others in stock like the $25 one we found online. Nina and Tony are handling a couple errands. They're gonna meet us back at the house soon. We dropped Devin's dad back off at his truck. We're gonna go ahead and grab the next item on the list. All right, so guys, we got the fryer, and you can't forget about the oil. Found a little seafood breading mix. This is the New Orleans style fish fry. Now time to grab our last ingredient. Let's get back to the house. <laughs> all right, we're back at the house. We got all the ingredients quick shower and change and then we are gonna get to cooking. This thing is like some assembly required. So we're working on putting the farberware together over here. But uh, we pretty much got all the stuff ready. So uh, once we get this figured out, we'll get the oil in there and then we'll start cooking this fish. Okay, she's fully assembled. It looks like we're gonna max her out at 375. That's the temperature for the fish. We've got our Wesson oil, and we're about to crank this baby up. We have some of the fillets sitting in the Franks red hot, ready to be breaded when the time comes. It's telling me it's gonna take about 13 minutes to hit 375. We got it to the max fill line. Cha-ching. Time to crank her up. 375, baby. Put some of the breading mix into our bowl. Uh, these fillets have been marinating in the Frank's Red Hot. We're about to put them into the breading mix and get some into the fryer. Get a decent amount of the breading on your fish because you'll see what I did with the first one is kind of uh, didn't put enough. Bam. That's perfect. Well, shout out to Captain Marty for cleaning the fish for us. It's a catch and cook, not a catch clean and cook because we're not the most experienced over here. No assholes. <laughs> it's not in there. I need to redo that, don't I? One thing that you're supposed to do is drop your pan in. Well, this turns out really good because I make a lot of cuts. Y'all are going to laugh. First time for everything. Let's see if we don't screw something up. Look at this guy right here. Mm. Tasty! All right, let's get these in the oil. Oil's up to 375. Tossing in the fish. Big piece first. It's not in there. One thing that you're supposed to do is drop your pan in before you put the fish in, that way the fish don't get stuck to the pan. Is that right? Don't get stuck to the bottom of this pan. You drop that in the oil first, then you put the fish in the oil. That's supposed to make a difference. Oh, not that fast either. It's supposed to be nice and smooth on the descent, and then very quick on the ascent. So, that's what I was told. Let's get the lid on here. We'll check back in a couple minutes. Looks safe. 
All right, those look good. Woo wee! Frank's Red Hot Filets. Oh yeah. Zeke, how's it look? Sweet. Just got the first round finish. Devin is battering up round two with the goods. And uh, we're about to chow down. First plate's looking delicious. Zeke definitely wants a bite. I don't get any buffalo. I'll sit. Will you shake? Yeah, good boy. Shake with the other paw? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Maybe you can have one little piece when it's ready. Devin's getting done breading some more of these. Time to put round two in the fryer. Let's go. Okay, so I drop this down. Step number one complete. Drop these in slowly. I feel like this is a lot of fillets for this little amount of space. Homemade cooking with Weston. First time frying. Whoop. Sweet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ow! <laughs> awesome, right? Let's give those a few minutes. All right, let's eat. No forks, all finger food. Check us out. We got, man, we were testing that fryer out. We did the, we didn't want to mess up the fish, so we did a couple other things first. First we went with the tomato zucchini squash, then we hooked it up with some fries, then we got the fillets, that's the first round, then we got the second round right here. It looks delicious, let's dig in. Who's, who's taking the first bite? Tony. Oh. Yeah. We got some winners, Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today's Catch and Cook with us out on Lake Texoma with the Striper. We caught those fish on some awesome Catch Co baits we got of the Mystery Tackle Box. And we're gonna link all the ingredients and Captain Marty's service today in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.